Scientists in Swansea University are looking at whether a cow's first milk or colostrum could strengthen the immune system of people with type 2 diabetes. One milk producer in Pembrokeshire has become the UK's first commercial supplier. And researchers want to see if the health claims can be measured. Abigail Neal reports. One of the cows on this farm in Letterston has given birth to a calf. Normally her excess colostrum, or first milk, is just thrown away. Not here. So that's only, that's only a couple of litres, but we collect the, from the first three milkings. So maybe after three milkings I'll have a bag full, 10 or 15 litres from a cow. And you can see it's a lot, lot yellower, isn't it's it? It's a lot yellower than normal milk. And, and what, it, it, what it tastes like? Is it just a lot thicker? It tastes very creamy. It's like drinking single cream. The calves are fed two litres first, so they get the benefit. Then any extra is bagged up, weighed, frozen and sold for three times the price of milk. Welcome to our dairy processing plant where we bring the colostrum from the farm. Convinced of the health benefits on himself, John Rolfs began commercially producing colostrum. Elite sportsmen and women are the main market, sold on the belief the immune-boosting properties helps their performance. We know that colostrum has factors that heal the gut, that trigger gut repair, accelerate that process and maintain the barrier function of the gut to stop things crossing from the intestine into the bloodstream. Our studies with athletes show that their rate of respiratory infections through winter is much less if they're using colostrum compared with a, a placebo of just a milk powder. Athletes have been taking colostrum for a number of years, but now there's a growing interest in studying whether the benefits they report could be of use to the rest of the population as well. And that's what they're just about to test here at Swansea University. Patients with type 2 diabetes can have a weakened immune system. So scientists want to test whether colostrum could help. We're interested in seeing that if the increased incidence of colds and flus and um, um, uh, issues that affect people with diabetes could be ameliorated by a strengthening of their own immune system by consuming a product like colostrum. If the trial proves it does, it may be that colostrum could help other conditions too. Then the problem won't be convincing the consumer, but making sure production can keep up with demand.